everybody. I'm Brittany Lewis, a breaking news reporter here at Forbes. Joining me now is my Forbes colleague, money and politics reporter, Kyle Conmullins. Kyle, thanks so much for joining me. Always great to be here, Brittany. Thanks for having me. In the spirit of money and politics, of election day coverage, you found the net worths of the eldest Trump children. So today we are going to talk about the net worth of Ivanka Trump. So start off, give us the number. How much is she worth? We're estimating that Ivanka Trump is worth about $50 million. And I want to note right now that is separate from her near billionaire husband. We recently estimated that uh, Jared Kushner is worth over $900 million. So between the two of them, they might be pretty damn close to a billion. But um, this is a specific valuation just for her $50 million. So now let's take a walk down memory lane, if you will. Let's start in 2004. We know Ivanka Trump as arguably the most famous of the Trump children. She made her money a different way. She went down a different path than her other brothers, Don Jr. and Eric Trump. So we'll talk about that. In 2004, what were her first money moves after graduating from Wharton? Her first money move was taking out a loan from the bank of Donald J. Trump, a.k.a. her own father. Um, she took out a fairly sizable loan from uh, her uh, from her dad uh, at a very, very low interest rate, mind you, and used it to buy a house uh, or excuse me, an apartment in a Trump building. So um, that was her starter apartment. Um, that loan is still on Trump's books as of uh, 2022 when we last saw his tax returns. And so um, we know that that is that was very early on. She got right into the New York real estate market on the ground floor with a low interest rate loan um in in uh in trump building a nice low interest rate loan did she eventually make any money off of that apartment when she left it she did um so in this building uh she she lived in the apartment for a couple of years uh married jared kushner in 2009 and sometime after we're not exactly sure when um she and jared moved to a penthouse uh many times larger in the same building and so she rented out the original apartment for about ten thousand dollars a month and then she paid her dad $10,000 a month to rent this giant penthouse. In other words, she essentially got a free upgrade to a much larger place. Fast forward to 2017, Trump actually sells the penthouse that Ivanka and Jared are living in, shuffles them over to an even larger penthouse. They're still only being charged $10,000 a month in rent, but she still owns that starter apartment and that one's still getting rented out. In 2004, she gets this starter apartment. In 2005, though, she does join the Trump Organization. So what was her role there and how much money was she bringing in from her job? So Ivanka was, like her siblings, involved with running lots of different deals in the Trump Organization. Um, she was involved in the Doral Miami expansion. Um, she was actually the, one of the leads on the D.C. Hotel, inf now infamous D.C. Hotel. Uh, in the old post office building, just a couple blocks from the White House. So Ivanka was very involved in some of the big, flashy deals that we know about at the Trump Organization. Um, and her salary, like you asked about, um, we know how much she was making approximately when she left the Trump Organization and went into public service at the White House. She became an unpaid advisor to her father. She had to file federal disclosures because of that. We know she's making around $2 million a year in salary uh, in 2016. Over the next decade, though, she began several of her own business ventures. What were they and were they successful in helping her grow her net worth? Yeah, her salary and, uh, you know, plush position at the top of the family company, not enough for her. That's OK. She went out and started founding her own companies. Um, she signed a bunch of branding deals with lots of different fashion companies. So we're talking Ivanka Trump branded handbags, Ivanka Trump branded shoes, Ivanka Trump branded clothing, Ivanka Trump branded jewelry. Um, and she got a cut of all of the sales involved here. Um, we estimate that her 2013 G3 deal, which was big uh, uh, clothesline, um, that made her somewhere around $16 million over the years. Um, and all the other deals combined probably made her around $11 million. She also released a book around this time. It's called The Trump Card. She made about $2 million from that. Um, so she was really raking it in in the years between the kind of late 2000s and in 2016 when her father won the presidency. I've talked about in great length with the Money in Politics team just how Trump businesses were impacted when he joined office, when he became president, because he was such a polarizing figure. Did her retail businesses take a hit once her dad became president? They did. It seems like that Trump polarization effect spilled over onto his kids as well. 
Um, so Ivanka Trump, uh, you know, just even a couple of weeks after she became a White House advisor, Nordstrom announced that they were dropping her as a uh, um, as one of the brands that they were carrying. Um, and they said it was because of declining sales. Uh, and it seems like uh, sales across her branding empire uh, kind of took a hit. Um, in fact, that hit seems to be so extensive that she shut down the whole business in 2018. Um, she says that it was due to ethics issues and it was, uh, you know, constantly having to do with these conflicts. And also uh, she wanted to focus on politics. She didn't want to have this business uh, on the side. It's kind of a distraction. Um, but nonetheless, I think that the, the collapsing sales were definitely part of the context there as well. You mentioned the one book she wrote. She also wrote another one. What kind of money did she make from being an author? So the second book she wrote, um, it was actually scheduled. It was all written prior to her father winning off, uh, winning the presidency. Um, but it was called Women Who Work. And it came out in 2017. Um, she made around a million dollars from this. But a lot of that she actually ended up giving to charity. Um, again, these uh, that, that this is kind of a good illustration of how when she joined the White House and her father... Uh, and her, and her father was the president, um, that kind of squashed a lot of her different money-making opportunities. She had to give the money away from the books. She had to shut down her businesses. Um, she left the Trump organization. She got one year of severance for that, and then after that was not making any money off of that. And um, she had some of these stakes in a couple of smaller Trump organization businesses that were also paying her. The, the profits were paying there. And she had to restructure those so they were guaranteed payments that weren't tied to their performance so that way you know, there would be less ethics questions about those companies. If we remember going back to 2016 and even 2020, Ivanka Trump was really a staunch defender of her father. She introduced him at the RNC. She um, joined him at the White House. She left the Trump Organization. But after his loss in 2020, she retreated from the limelight, had a more private life. Talk to us about that. She did. Um, she and Jared moved down to Florida, uh, along with the whole Trump family, by the way. Eric also moved down there. Don Jr. moved down there. Uh, Donald Trump famous, famously is now living in Mar-a-Lago. He no longer lives in New York. Um, so she moved down to Florida. Uh, she and Jared bought a uh, $25 million house on Indian Creek Island. Their neighbors include Jeff Bezos and um, lots of other billionaires on this very, very exclusive island. And um, so she moved down there. Uh, they, bought, they bought the house. And um, she has really kind of disappeared since. Um, she the day that her father announced that he was running for president again in 2022, she issued a statement that said, I am prioritizing my family. I am not interested in being involved with politics anymore. I'm putting that chapter of my life behind. Paraphrasing, but that's essentially what she said. Um, and that appears to be what she's stuck to. She hasn't really appeared with him on the campaign trail at all. Uh, she doesn't really make very many public appearances. Her Instagram is a lot of photos of her traveling and working out and surfing and all sorts of crazy stuff. Looks like a great life and looks like it is very far from Washington, D.C. It seems like she's retreated to be more of a private citizen, but what was the reasoning? What did she say why she moved down to Florida? Because as we know, pre-Trump becoming president, the Trump family were real socialites in New York City. So there's been some reporting that says that she was kind of cast out of a polite society in New York. Um, so that was definitely part of it. I think the big reason why she moved to Florida is that the rest of her family was moving to Florida. So the whole the whole group was decamping down there. Um, but the, the her reasoning, like she said in, uh, in that statement in 2022, is that she didn't want to be involved in politics anymore. She wanted to close that book. And she, according to her, she wanted to focus on her family. She's got three kids. Um, and that appears to be her priority. There was one more big financial contribution to her bank account when her family sold the D.C. hotel back in 2022. So can you talk about how Ivanka fared differently from her brothers? Yeah, absolutely. So just to recap briefly, the D.C. hotel, um, the Trump organization was able to sell it for $375 million, which was significantly more than analysts said that it was worth at the time. Um, and Ivanka got a cut of the profits. She and her brothers all got about $4 million each from the profits for their, their father, of course, made far, far more. Um, and uh, when that happened, a couple months later, the New York Attorney General sued, um, and the DC hotel was one of the areas that the New York Attorney General said uh, the Trump Organization had gotten illicit amounts of profits, that, that these were ill-gotten gains. Um, and uh, a judge eventually ruled uh, in favor of the New York Attorney General and said that they had to disgorge these millions and millions of dollars on the DC hotel and on other uh, projects that they had worked on. 
Um, but Ivanka actually got off scot-free there. Uh, so the others, they had to pay money back plus interest. All these cases are currently on appeal. Ivanka, um, her lawyers got her out of the case entirely. They argued that it was past the statute of limitations for her because she'd left the Trump organization a couple years earlier. Um, you know, she left to go to the White House while her brother stayed and ran the company. Um, she was no longer involved. She wasn't involved at the sale. So they, the, the courts found that she was fine. So she actually, as far as we can tell, seems to have been able to keep the money, about $4 million. As you said earlier, it seems like she's really become more of a private citizen. You haven't seen much of her with her father on the campaign trail this election season. So are there any other financial gains that we can expect in Ivanka Trump's future? She's got a lot of cash. Um, and we're presuming that that cash is invested in some way. So assuming the stock market continues on the tear that it's been on lately, her investments are going to keep going. Um, and that, that cash pile is going to continue to grow. We estimate it's around 40 million today. So that's only going to keep going. Um, assuming she's also not spending it down. Um, but any financial gains from the Trump presidency, my guess is they're going to come from uh, Jared Kushner, her husband. Um, my colleagues on the wealth team, Giacomo and Monica, they recently valued him at over $900 million. Um, they said that regardless of who wins the election, he's probably going to be a billionaire. That's thanks to his new private equity uh, you know, adventures. Um, and he's probably going to be a little bit more plugged into politics, as far as we can tell, than uh, Ivanka is. And so he may have some opportunities there that she won't. Well, Kyle Con mullins I appreciate your reporting per usual. Thank you so much for joining me. Always great to be here, Brittany. Thanks again.